Good day grade 12s. Welcome to week 11. We're going to carry on with trigonometry but this lesson we're going to learn about double angle formula. Now the cool thing about double angle formula is that we derive them from our compound angles. So let's have a look. Sine 2a. Sine 2a can be rewritten obviously as sine of a plus a and then we can apply our compound angle formula so it becomes sine a cos a plus cos a sine a which then just becomes 2 sine a cos a. So therefore we know that sine 2a equals 2 sine a cos a and that is a double angle formula and they call it a double angle formula because of the obvious 2a and this is on your formula sheet grade 12s but you do need to know how to derive it. Let's look at the next one cos 2a. Now cos 2a has three different possible options of what it can equal and we're going to go through the, all of them and you need to know all of them but again the final answers are on the formula sheet. So let's have a look. Cos 2a can obviously be written as cos a plus a which is then cos a cos a minus sine a minus sine a I mean times sine a which then becomes cos squared a minus sine squared a. Okay awesome. So now we know that cos 2a equals cos squared a minus sine squared a. That's fantastic. Cos 2a equals cos squared a minus sine squared a on the formula sheet. Awesome. But we can manipulate this. This we can change around and that's what I'm going to show you in the next one. So cos 2a is cos squared a minus sine squared a, right? But we know that cos squared a plus sine squared a equals 1. Therefore we could write that cos squared, we could write 1 minus sine squared a equals cos squared a, right? So therefore cos 2a is equal to, instead of cos squared a, we write 1 minus sine squared a minus sine squared a, which then becomes 1 minus 2 sine squared a. Or we could have gone, instead of substituting for the cos squared a, we could have substituted for the sine squared a and written that sine squared a is 1 minus cos squared a. And then it becomes cos squared a minus 1 minus cos squared a, which becomes 2 cos squared a minus 1. So there you can see that we've actually got that option there, 2 cos squared a minus 1. We've got this option here, cos 2a is 1 minus 2 sine squared a. And this option here, which is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. So these are your three options for what your double angle of cos 2a can equal and we use them depending on the rest of the sum but we will show you how to do that in a couple of examples in our next lesson. Please make sure that you understand how to derive them because this is examinable and when I say make sure you understand I don't mean learn off by heart I mean make sure you understand and can do it with understanding. Right thank you grade 12s have a great day.